My name is Dr. Stuart Finney. I'm a cardiac surgeon at the University of Maryland St. Joseph Medical Center. The blood vessels that carry blood to the heart muscle are called coronary arteries. These, the inner lining of these coronary arteries can be damaged typically by high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, or smoking. When these arteries are damaged, calcium and cholesterol plaque can build up in the coronary arteries, causing narrowings, uh, obstructing blood flow to the heart. The classic red flag for a heart attack is chest pain that occurs on the left side of the chest and goes down the arm. However, that, those symptoms only occur approximately half the time. Jaw pain, back pain, shortness of breath, indigestion-like pain when you're exerting yourself or after a large meal can all be signs of heart. the heart's not getting enough blood supply. And it should certainly cause somebody to go see their physician for a stress test or a calcium score. The calcium score gives you an indication of how much calcium is in the arteries and that correlates with how much blockage is in the coronary arteries. And a stress test will also indicate if you have blockages in the coronary arteries and, and the heart doesn't have enough blood supply. Ignoring symptoms of chest discomfort with when you're exerting yourself or any kind of jaw discomfort, shortness of breath with exertion, these are warning signs of a heart attack. And patients should seek medical attention, see their doctor for a stress test or other testing to see if they have blockages in the coronary arteries. Coronary artery bypass grafting, I think of sort of as plumbing. You have a blockage in the pipe, and basically you're trying to construct another route for blood to get around that blockage. So we take conduit from other areas of the body, take a vein out of the leg, take an artery off the chest wall, take an artery out of the arm, sew it on one side and sew it on the other side of the blockage so the blood goes around uh, the blockage and uh, maximizes blood supply to the, to the heart. Technologically, we've become less invasive. When, we, when saphenous vein is harvested from the leg, it's now endoscopic. We used to make an incision down the whole leg to take the saphenous vein out. Now it's just a small incision. It's much more comfortable, much less healing time, and, and much less infection. We used to keep patients, have the breathing tube kept in the patients for two days. Uh, we used to not get them out of bed aggressively. We now have the breathing tube out in the vast majority of patients within six hours. We get patients up walking the day after surgery and then walking three times a day for the rest of their hospital course. It's a real emphasis on uh, enhancing the recovery of the patient by physically getting them moving and also thinking about the patient-centered experience. We've really thought about how the patient experiences the whole process and we've tried to streamline that and make it more comfortable so patients can actually spend less time in the hospital and get back home sooner. The patients that do well are the patients that are physically in good condition. They've been walking, they've been active, and we generally feel the better shape you are coming into the operation, the better shape you are coming out of the operation. The clinical outcomes at St. Joseph are excellent. Our mortality rate last year for coronary bypass surgery was 0.28%. We have excellent outcomes and people do very well. Here at St. Joseph, we emphasize physical therapy and a much more aggressive approach to recovery from surgery. We get the patients up and walking the day after surgery and they see physical therapy every day and walk three times to four times per day. We feel this emphasizes getting patients back to their way of life as soon as possible. The cardiac surgery team is exceptional at St. Joseph. We've got many people that have spent over 25 years with this program and the advantage of working with someone day in and day out and everyone knowing their job, everyone doing their job is, I think, makes us uh, a cut above. Frequently patients say that the whole team is friendly, outgoing, and they really get the sense that they care about them.